All right, great, Scott. So why don't you take a shot at making a drink for this uh, for this one? Okay. So let's. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is steam my milk. Excellent. Uh, right on the surface. Yeah, right at the. See if you can just get that tip right there, and you'll begin to hear that noise. Yeah, that's good. And just Watching follow it up. Temperature. About 140. Take it off. Yes. Nice. Okay, so we got some nice steam. Nice foam. Is that enough? It should be, yep, that should be good. Little tamp, perfect, that looks lovely. And you're off and running. It's a nice separation. Yeah, it looks lovely. You can almost tell right away if you get that lovely, uh, that lovely creme at the top. Excellent. That spoon is right there, perfect. So this time, only take the milk up to the center of the cup. Excellent, and now I'm gonna pull that thermometer out, Great. and you can just take all foam, finish it off with foam, and instead of scooping it, just back the foam right out of that. Perfect, there you go. And you wanna just take as much foam as you can get. You've got tons of beautiful foam that you made down at the bottom. Lovely. In fact, now you can just sort of pour everything you've got in there. So free pour right to the top, let it rip. That's beautiful, okay? And what you can see is now, you're about halfway up the cup, the other half is nice foam, and beautiful. that would be less milky of a beverage and a little bit more sweet foam. Uh, right. which is the difference between a cappuccino and a latte. So is this considered a dry or a wet? That would be a wet cappuccino. Great question, because we moved a little bit above center. A dry cappuccino would be much closer to maybe an inch of milk and lots more foam. Okay. So tell me about a macchiato. What's the difference between those? Oh, great. You got all the drinks down. So the next drink that we might see uh, would be a macchiato. And uh, macchiato, which in Italian means marked. And essentially what you're going to do then is you're going to create the milk foam, and then you're going to mark that foam with your shot of espresso. Okay. So unlike these beverages where we put the shot in and then we added the milk, uh, either by pouring it in, what we would do is in a macchiato, we would just put the milk in and then we would mark the top with the espresso on the foam so that the espresso, and sometimes you may have even seen uh, with cappuccinos right. uh, that are, um, are caramel macchiato. Uh, you might see a beverage uh, that we have where we mark the top of the beverage with caramel, right. okay, with that cross hatching of caramel. So what do you think of the cappuccino? You know, it looks beautiful, but I think the true test of a cappuccino would be in the taste. So why don't you give it a taste? Excellent. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit of the latte that you made, and uh, we'll move on to the next segment. Tasty.